Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. The flesh of fallen angels. Who's there? Max? Max, is that you? Max? Where are you, Max? Please. No, please, Max, no, I'm sorry. Please don't, Max, no. No, please. no, no, please, God, no. staring at me. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel. Funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. It was a bad line in a prank call, someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar.
Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to Cold Steel Foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman on kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. confetti over the devil's parade. The storm was anything but over.
breached. The facility has been compromised. Repeat, the Deep Six has been compromised. Initiate Operation Dead Eyes. The walkie-talkie military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. table told a grim tale. The mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up and sell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway.
Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, has rows of ovens in the core of the plant. Control destroyed. Repeat, oven controls have been destroyed. Ah! 